Hello everyone, Mark or 255 here, and welcome back to another video. I've always had some sort of attachment to the FNAF series, whether it's me obsessing over it just like FNAF itself, or not really caring too much. This mod really matches the aesthetic well with whatever it's about, and the songs are unconventional, but all great in some way, for the most part. I am late to the bandwagon of covering this mod, but I still wanted to talk about it in some way, and that just so happens to be ranking all the songs. Before we start the ranking, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and click the notifications bell so you'll know when I'll upload next. I've got a lot of stuff planned for 100 subs, and I want you to see what it is. With that being said, let's rank the songs in Whirlpool Guy. 20. Beatbox. It's 20 seconds of the FNAF Beatbox Guy, there's nothing remarkable about this whatsoever. I would like this to be longer and be an actual song, but oh well. 19. Blubber. Even though this is the weakest normal length song in the list, I still sometimes get this part stuck in my head for no discernible reason. Don't know what this reference is, but that doesn't really matter, as this is just passable for the most part. Also, the charting is weirdly off for this one. 18. Bite. I like this one is pretty controversial, but hear me out. My main issue with this and some other songs is the chromatics for Freddy and Golden Freddy. They just don't sound good to me, and that really just drags this song down a ton for me. I do like Mark and Foxy's chromatics though, but considering for half the song we're stuck with the bad chromatics, it's not enough to save this song in my opinion. Overall, not bad, just something I personally just don't get behind. 17. Performance This is just kinda good. There's not really anything I can say. I guess I like the chromatics, the feels pretty catchy, and I like what this reference is. There's nothing inherently wrong with this song, it just doesn't have anything truly exceptional in it. 16. Faz Fuck News. This is so strange. I'm not entirely sure what this reference is, but I just don't know what to think of this. It never really picks up, and the chromatics don't really fit that well with the instrumental to me. That's my best attempt to come up with shit to say here, so let's move on. 15. Trapped. One, go. This is... a thing. I feel like I should like this so much more than I do, but hey. I believe this is based on what people thought we'd be against in FNAF 3 before it was released due to a teaser making Springtrap look like some weird bear thing. Again, I feel like I should love this one so much, but I guess morals are forcing me to put this low. Sorry, I guess. 14. Showtime. <laughs> I 
attachment to this mini game this is based on from FNAF 2 for some reason, which may be why I've put this high. The background event, which you may not even notice, is cool, and this is just a fun time, just like the mini game this is based on. 13. Go Fish. Now, I'm one of the schmucks who loves FNAF World, so I love it when it's mentioned ever, so this is really cool to me. I've always loved Old Man Consequences to some extent, and this doesn't disappoint in any way. This is really fun and works well as a reference on its own. 12. Man. Man. Man is a good chromatic. Man be having good instrumental. Man be having that comedy at the end. Man be awesome and shit. Man 11. Guy. <laughs> this is a super great way to start the mod, bro. Going up against the Whirlpool guy himself with his chromatic coming around from too odd to surprisingly good in my opinion, to the really solid instrumental and overall just getting you pumped to listen to the rest of this great OST. 10. Lurking. One, go. I really like Shadow Bonnie's chromatic here, and the repeating melody works pretty well. Whilst I think Umbra from Funkin' at Freddy's has much more of dramatic weight to it, and it has an incredible part towards the end, I feel like I slightly prefer this song just because it's better overall compared to Umbra. I still like that song though, don't get me wrong, I just prefer this song generally. 9. Watchful. One, go. Redbird Doll has always been very strange, and this song kind of fits that well, with the little animation on Fredbear being only on his eyes. It feels very foreboding, and just sounds very great. From here, we got the songs I really like. 8. Followed. This character's chromatic is super cool and fits the song super well. The drops are great, the references mostly work, and overall this is just pretty fun to vibe to. The middle is a little strange and takes too long to get back to the good stuff though. 7. God, this goes hard. I didn't expect you, but it does. The Criminal's chromatic, again, is so damn good, the drops are great, and it visually looks very cool. Then you look at the composer and realize they made Maelstrom from Troubleshooting, and you're like, okay, that's why this bangs. Six, Midnight. One, go. <laughs> I 
I absolutely love swing music, and this is exactly that. Just a fun, casual swing tune against an orange dude in that FNAF 6 minigame, which is super cool, by the way. Also, at this point you should expect this, but I love the chromatic. 5. Terminated. One, go. I remember not thinking much of this when I first played the mod, and a few times after, but once more, a song shoots up in the rankings when making the video. The beginning's pretty slow, but it picks up greatly when the drop happens. Whilst the references don't fit too well in my eyes, the other turns and transitions are super good. I also love the combination of references visually, from the guy in FNAF World, which leads on to Update 2, to the FNAF 6 ending cutscene. Overall, a super climactic ending to the main week. 4. Restless. This song kinda gives me vibes of Phantasm from Chaos Nightmare for some reason, even though there's no changing at all, but that doesn't matter as it slaps. The chromatic for this song needed to be good as it's the only one for the whole song and yeah, this is at number 4 so what do you think I think of it? This is surprisingly dramatic and just goes in for the whole thing. 3. Lore <laughs> Welcome to the song that made people care about this mod. I don't think this is as good as people say it is, but of course I have to admit that this still bangs nonetheless. From, if you could guess, the chromatics being great and meshing well together, to the harmonies being great, to the instrumental being immaculate and the references being great, this just has it all. It makes perfect sense as to why this was the song to get everyone into this mod. 2. Golden well, the guy who made some of the best songs in Troubleshooting, of course, made his way onto this one and made the second best song of the bunch. Every single time the drops come in, give us that incredible main chorus. It is such a joy. This is just such a satisfying song. The cameos from Phone Guy and God of Freddy are really cool, and the use of sound effects from the games is fantastic. However, there's obviously one song that topped it. One. Miller. Talk about a dramatic song. I haven't seen the whole Day Shift at Freddy series since the release of that series, but that opening scene is already giving me goosebumps. All the chromatics are, would you guess it, sick as fuck, the lines the enemy have are great, and most importantly, this song tells the story of a final battle where everything is put on the line. At least that's how I'm interpreting it, as again, I haven't seen Day Shift at Freddy's series. 
the way your team slowly whittles down to only purple guy, and I'm guessing orange guy, then purple guy dies and everyone comes back at the end and that final screen thanking you for playing the mod mirroring the thank you screen Scott made. God, this is the sickest thing. I really don't know what could have topped this Tour de Force masterpiece. In terms of composition, I feel like Gordon is slightly better, but I feel like this song does what it needed to do absolutely perfectly. An absolute gem in an absolute gem of a mod. So yeah, Whirlpool Guy's good. I've only beaten one horror FNAF game and that's FNAF 2. In fact, I've beaten more fan games than official games. I beat FNAC 1 and 2, Pop Goes, etc, but those were ages ago. If I do a livestream on Halloween this year, expect me to play some FNAF stuff for obvious reasons. Anyways guys, that just about does it for today's video everybody, I really hope you all enjoyed it. And if you like my channel, do want to subscribe, click the like button, check out these videos, share with friends and family, check out my Twitch channel, and click the bell as well as be notified when any new videos come out. Anyways guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.